Hello everybody, Dead Spikes here coming at you with another raid tutorial. On this raid, we are doing Spire of Stars. This is the first encounter. This is one of the toughest raids in the game, but it is my favorite raid in the game, so I will try to cover it the very best I can. Um, this first encounter is soloable, so it actually the first encounter is quite easy. The rest of it that's difficult, but first encounter is gonna teach you and get you set for the rest of the raid. This first encounter I like to call Igniting the Fires. The way that it works is you need to get four charged balls into this goal right here that I'm jumping into. Um, you need to throw four charged balls into it. The problem is, is after you throw a charged ball into it, there's gonna be a shield that comes around it and guards it from being able to have another ball go inside. So you need to kind of time it out and wait. Um, one thing you can notice is there's these worms right here. There's one worm here, one worm here, and two more worms there. A uh, worm will start on fire each time you get a ball in the goal. That way you can see how far you are along, how many more balls you need in. Um, but you need four altogether. It takes one to start it, so you kind of only need three all the actual encounters going. Um, the problem with waiting is there are these plates right here. This thing is called a plate on this encounter. Um, there are four of them. There's one here. There are two over there. And then the very last one is right there, if you can see it across. Um, these plates are slowly rotating downward. Once the plate reaches the ground, after a few seconds, the whole team's going to wipe, and you have to restart. Um, the only way to make the plate rise is to stand on the plate. The problem with standing on the plate is there's that smoke on there, and that smoke is poisonous. Now, after a little while, I'm going to die. You can see I'm engulfed on the bottom left, and you just die. The way to prevent that is to hold the ball. Ball is over here. See it right here. If there's never, if there's not a ball anywhere or anything, it's going to spawn from this thing. You'll notice. I just threw it off the edge. It's gonna respawn right here. This is always where the ball spawns from, so right behind the goal. Um, but when you have the ball, you can go jump onto the plate, and you can ride on it. And then that's how you make the plate rise, is just by sitting on this plate. You see you're gonna slowly stack greed on the bottom left. When your greed stacks to 10, you will die. As you see, wait for it. Bam, I'm dead. So you need to be passing it between your teammate is kind of the goal. So you should have someone on each plate, passing it between them. Um, pretty easy when you have that set up. You can do this with four people, extremely easy. Um, you do have six people, just put the last two on ad clear is what I do. Otherwise, just have someone here ready to throw the ball. And they're going to throw the ball to this guy right here. And he'll ride the plate to the top. And he'll throw it to that guy. This guy will ride it to the top. And then he'll throw it to the last guy. He'll ride it to the top. And then he'll throw it all the way across over to that guy. And you just stay in that rotation of throwing the ball between all of them until the goal's opened for you ready to throw another one in. Um, the biggest problem about this encounter that people do is um, when they throw the ball, they don't get off the plate quick enough. So when your plate's at the top and you're ready to get off, make sure you jump off when you throw it. Don't sit on there and throw it because that smoke's going to come back and kill you. You can see the smoke's already back and it will kill you since you're not holding that ball. So make sure when you are passing the ball, you say the player's name, you jump off and you throw it at them and you should be fine. And it's just surviving and keep the rotation going and getting all four goals in there. Um, all of the ads spawn out of the doors here and here. And then the two doors up there and the two doors over there. Anarchy works pretty good here. Otherwise, a hammerhead will work fine. A xenophage. It's just ad clearing. Just whatever you prefer for ad clearing. I like top tree arc strider on hunters. Get that... Uh, Infinite health on your melee. You could also run Devour on Warlocks. That would work pretty good. Um, I'm not sure what you'd want to run on Titan. I don't play Titans enough. Maybe a Sunspot. Hammer. Titan. But now that I've explained the encounter to you guys, I'm going to show you a two-man I did with my friend, and hopefully you can get a better understanding. All right, here we go. I'm about to start it. We're going to do our two-man. It was me and Slayer that did this. I throw it in to start it, and now it is started. Um, I throw the first ball to Slayer, and I'm going to go to plate two. Um, this is the two-man strategy. I don't recommend doing it like this, but we just did it for fun. Um, it does showcase a little bit more of what's going on with the rotations, though. 
you'll notice um, if you pop your super right when you catch the ball, you can save your super and it will cleanse your greed at the same time, which is pretty cool. Popping your super takes your greed off for some reason. I'm not sure why it's set up like that. But it's an exploit you can do to two-man or one-man this encounter pretty easily. Now I'm just rotating between these two plates and Slayer is rotating between the two other plates until we're, the goal is ready to throw in again. You see the plates are slowly going down. We're trying to do as fast as we can. You can see that fire around the goal there in the center. That's what we're waiting to leave to be able to throw it in. Jumping around. Pop my super right there. Got my greed cleansed. And now the goal's open. I'm going to throw it in. Slayer's going to grab the fresh ball right there. And he's going to start the rotation again. I'm at plate two, ready to catch it. So the way I would actually set this up with four people, or six people, have uh, one person on each plate. And then you have person on back add clear and front add clear. That's how you distribute the six people. The person on front add clear could be your guy who throws the new ball to whoever's rotation it is. Don't always throw it to the same person because you know if, if one of the middle plates threw it, um, the fresh ball has to go to the next player. Going. I think we got two balls in so far. This is about to be the third. You can see shield lowered on the bottom left happened. Ready to throw in. Pop. There's a new ball. Popped my super a little bit early there, and you can see I used it up, but it's okay. We were still able to do her. Switch rolls a little bit here. I'm going to the other plate instead now. He's going to throw it all the way across so I can catch it. And then I'm going to ride this plate all the way to the top. Player's going to take it. We have some pretty low plates right now, so the room's getting a little red. And that's our final goal that just dropped. You can see the shield lowered. I think I throw this last goal in. And bang, we finish the encounter. Your chest will be right here. And you see how that statue rised up? That's where you're going to go next. You just fall right down there. That'll do it for this encounter. If you guys enjoyed this video or it helped you out at all, please make sure to hit that thumbs up button. It does help me out a lot. If you have not yet, please consider subscribing to the channel. That way you can catch when I make my next content. Hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next one. This is Vikes out.